This is version 2 of my gravity flyer. I have taken off the whole bottom half of it. As you can see, the top disc is spinning. I have high voltage positive on it. The center disc is connected to high voltage negative. The reason for this experiment is because there is a force of pressure that goes downwards in this configuration. Within a minute's time, it dug a quarter inch hole directly into the wood below where every bolt goes down. This is what it looks like at night. As you can see, we've created plasma between the two plates. Because the amps are so low, it creates a static volt. It always takes pressure from the small disc and forces it on to the bigger disc. So what happens when you put this thing upside down? It gives you the only lift factor in this entire device. When testing the outer fields of the craft, I have discovered the best configuration is to put the high voltage positive to the center plate or the whole frame and to put the Tesla coil field to the top disc. That allows for the bottom disc to be manipulated now. If you put the high voltage negative to the bottom disc, we have just created our lift factor. We have also created the perfect scenario for the field on the outside. This also is the only configuration that gives us control of the beat frequency of the entire outside field of the craft. If the outside field in any way removes any part of gravity, then this lift factor is enough to lift this craft. I know a lot of what I just said may be really upsetting to some people, when they want to tell you exactly how Alexi ran it and how he said to run it, please understand I'm not here to offend anyone. I'm just going where the science is leading me in this craft. I'm going where the direction says it needs to go. This is where I think it needs to go. This is the configuration that seems to give us every proper part of this craft when you think about it on a just purely scientific level. I understand we're trying to recreate this man's device. I also understand that every single inventor leaves a misleading part in a diagram, in a schematic. They also give you misleading words. Sometimes it's a language barrier. Sometimes they do it on purpose so that nobody recreates their device. In this case, understand this. I will make the science win the day. And I will configure this the way the science tells me to do it, even though I want to keep true to the way Alexi does things. For that, I'm not sorry. But I will try to do everything I possibly can to make this lift. And this is one direction that I have to take in order to do it. If you like what you saw here today, please like, share, subscribe, comment, do all those fun things, and have yourself a great day. Thank you.